Now let's look at equations with more than one fractions. So you can see in this one, you can see that we're going to have more than one fraction, which is, I know, a little bit more annoying. But again, I'll show you an easy way to eliminate out those fractions pretty easily. So start with 32. OK, so we've got two fractions. We've got a one fraction here, one fraction here. How annoying. But all I want you to do is firstly identify the denominators as we did in the previous part. So what are the denominators? It's 5 and 8. But we have different denominators, don't we? Yeah? Think about this, guys. Just look at this fraction. Okay, just look at this fraction here. What do we need to do to get eliminate the denominator there? Well, the denominator is 5. So to get rid of the 5, what do we do? We can multiply by 5, don't we? Yeah? But remember, if you're multiplying something to one term, you must do it to all the other terms in the um, equation. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by 5 as well. And 8 by 5 as well. Okay? So I can actually eliminate that out. But this fraction will still remain. How do we get rid of that fraction? What's the denominator here? It's 8. So if I multiply by 8 onto this fraction, the 8 and the 8 will cross out and get rid of the denominator, or which means getting rid of the fraction. But remember, if you're multiplying something to one term, you must multiply it to all the other terms as well. So I'm going to multiply by 8 on this one as well and this one as well. So eventually, what are we multiplying everything by? We've got 8 times 5 here, 8 times 5, 8 times 5. What's 8 times 5? It's 40, isn't it? So basically, I'm actually just multiplying everything by 40, which is, so I'll rub this all out so you can see a bit more clearer. So I multiply this by 40, this by 40, this by 40, OK? And what is 40? 40 is the lowest common multiple of 5 and 8. OK? So all you need to think about is you can do what I did. You can multiply by 5 by everything first and then 8 by everything first. That's fine. Or if you are a little bit more smart, you can just quickly think about the lowest common multiple. So the lowest common multiple of 5 and 8 is 40. So you're going to multiply everything by 40. Okay, and that way you can eliminate both denominators or both fractions. So, what's 40 divided by 5, guys? 40 divided by 5 is 8. So, we simply need to multiply this by 8. Okay, because 40, this becomes 1 and that becomes 8. So, we'll have 8 times 2x plus 3. So, that's why we have 8 times 2x plus 3 left here. Now, here, 40 divided by 8. That's 1, that becomes a 5, isn't it? So we have 5 times 7x minus 2. And 8 times 40 is 320. Okay, so we have grouping symbols, but we're glad that we got rid of the fractions, which is the most annoying part. So now all you need to do is expand it out, get rid of those grouping symbols. So 8 times 2x is 16x, 8 times 3 is 24. 5 times 7x is 35, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, which is equal to 320. Okay, so this part you should be very, very familiar with. Now, gather your like terms. So keep the x's over to here, over your left, and keep the constant numbers over to your right. Okay, and then 16 plus 35 is 51, so we have 51x, and 320 minus 24 plus 10 is 306. And then divide both sides by 51, or you can think of it as just dividing 306 by 51. It's going to be 6. So you guys can have some extra calculations if you need to, to calculate the last step. Okay, but I won't explain it. Okay, get the idea here, guys? So the key thing is to multiply everything by the lowest common multiple. All right. Uh, 33. Now the denominator here is 6 and 4. What's the lowest common multiple here? I think it's 12. But if you really can't think about the lowest common multiple, guys, you can just multiply these two together. 
6 times 4, which is 24. So you can multiply everything by 24 if you like, and you'll still get the same answer. But it's a little bit easier if you can think about the lowest common multiple. And so I'm going to multiply everything by 12. Okay, which is the lowest common multiple of 6 and 4. So, what's 12 divided by 6? That becomes a 1 and that becomes a 2. So we have 2 times x plus 1. And what's 12 divided by 4? That becomes a 1 and that becomes a 3. So we have 3 times x plus 5, just like that. So 2 times x plus 1 plus 3 times x plus 5. And this side is just 72. That's that. Yeah? Now grouping symbols, easy, just expand it all out. So we have 2 times x, which is 2x, 2 times 1, which is 2, 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 5 is 15, and that's all equal to 72. So gather your like terms, keep 2x and 3x over to your left, and 72 minus 2 minus 15 on your right, and simplify. 5x, 55, divide both sides by 5 to get 11. Okay, so 11 is the answer for x. So, okay. And if you guys, as I said, you can multiply everything by 24, you still get the same answer, but it just probably requires maybe like one extra step, yeah, to simplify, but that's fine. But always trying to look for the lowest common multiple. Question 34, okay, this time what are the denominators? It's 4 and 9, so what are the common, lowest common multiple? I think it's going to be 36, guys, so hopefully most of you can identify that as well. It's going to be 36, so multiply everything by 36, okay? So, what's 36 divided by 4? That's going to be 1, and that's going to be 9. 36 divided by 9, that will be 1, and that will be 4. So it's going to be 9 times x minus 7, 4 times x minus 1. So, 9 times x minus 7, 4 times x minus 1, and make sure the minus is here, 36. Expand everything out. So, 9x minus 63 minus 4x minus minus makes a plus, so plus 4. Gather your like terms on your left. So, 9x minus 4x on your left, and the 63 and the 4, move it all onto the uh, right hand side by switching the signs. 9x minus 4x is 5x, this one should be 95. Divide by 5 and you should get 19, so 19 is the answer. I guess the last steps guys, I'm going to go through that pretty quickly, assuming that you guys are already a bit familiar with it, so I'm just going to concentrate on the first two steps more, okay? So see if you can understand the last few and practice that yourself. 35. Okay, again we have two fractions. So what's the lowest common multiple of? 5 and 2. They are the denominators, isn't it? So the lowest common multiple of 5 and 2, this is an easy one, it should be 10. So multiply everything by 10. Now guys, one thing that a lot of students make mistakes with is, this is one term. One fraction is one term, so you just need to multiply by 10 the whole thing. You don't have to multiply 10 to the top and the bottom and everything else. Just needed to multiply 10 once to the whole fraction. Same with this side. See how half times x minus 1? This is the same thing as x minus 1 on 2, isn't it? Because when we multiply something, it just goes to the top. So this and this is the same thing. So this is also one fraction. So you just need to multiply 10 once. You don't have to multiply 10 to half and 10 to x minus 1 again, okay? So that's the area where a lot of students make mistakes, so that must be something where you very must be cautious, okay? So that's pretty much what I want to emphasize there. Now let's um, simplify. What's five, sorry, 10 divided by 5? That becomes a 1 and that becomes a 2, doesn't it? And 10 divided by 2? That becomes a 1 and that becomes a 5. So we have 2 times 2x, which is 4x, and 5 times x minus 1. So simplify on your next step, and let's expand it. So 4x is 5x minus 5. Okay, expanding out the grouping symbols. Now gather your like terms. So let's move the 5x onto the other side. So I have 4x minus 5x, which is negative x. 
Now negative x equals to negative 5. Now if there's negative on both sides, you can just cancel the negatives. x is just going to be positive 5. So you can just get rid of the negatives. Okay, so that's quite likely for you to do. So that's the answer, guys. So hopefully the first part you understood what I said. Okay, so that's 35. 36. Okay, again, we've got some fractions. What are the denominators? 3 and 2. And what's the lowest common multiple? 6. So I'm going to multiply by 6 to everything. So 6 to this one, 6 to this one, and 6 to 5. Okay, so again, just multiply 6 once for each term. Now, what's 6 divided by 3? That's going to be 2. 6 times a half, or 6 divided by 2, it's 3, and 6 times 5 is 30. Now let's expand the brackets. So this will be 4x, 2 times 3 will be 6, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, negative negative is a positive, so positive 12 equals to 30. Okay, so keep your x's on your left for 4x minus 3x, and move the 6 and 12 onto the other side. So you can see that 4x minus 3x is x, and 30 minus 6 minus 12 is 12. So x is 12. Okay, so it's very repetitive, isn't it? So have a good look at that one. Now 37. Now guys, if you can, try this yourself. Pause for a moment and try it yourself and check your answers. Okay, and see if you get the same answer as mine. The rest of you can watch what I do. Okay, what's the denominators, guys? 2 and 5. And what's the lowest common multiple? 10. So multiply everything by 10 as we always do. So 10 divided by 2, that's 1 and that will be a 5. 10 divided by 5, that's 1 and that will be a 2. And that one we can simplify. So you can see that here we just have 5 times x minus 3. Now 2 times 3 is 6, so 6 times x plus 1. And 10 times 2x is 20x. Okay? Let's expand it all out. So 5x minus 5 times 3 is 15, minus 6x, negative 6 times positive 1 is negative 6, equals to 20x. So keep your like terms on your left, so keep your x's on your left. So 5x minus 6x, and the 20x I will also move to the left hand side, making it negative 20x. And then the negative 15 makes positive 15, negative 6 becomes positive 6. Now, 5x minus 6x is negative x, minus 20x is negative 21x, and 15 plus 6 is 21. Divide by negative 21, so 21 divided by negative 21 is negative 1. So, for those who checked, did you get that one? If you did, excellent, have a pat on your back. And that's pretty much it. So that's when we have more than one fractions. Always keep an eye on the denominators and look for the lowest common multiple. Okay, and just be aware of the signs as well all the time. So that's the end of this part.